everyone, it's Michelle Breton with Stamping with Michelle. I'm here to show you another technique card. Today I'm going to show you the blackboard technique. This is a card that we did in my February stamp clubs. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to actually get the blackboard effect. I'm going to bring in a piece of basic black cardstock. I have cut this to three and three quarters by three and three quarters square, and we're going to emboss on that. Now before I do, I want to rub this with my embossing buddy. And this is just going to cut down on any oils or static or anything that might be on the paper so when I apply the embossing powder, it sticks right to my stamped image only. Now the image I'm going to stamp with is this here, Wishing You a Day, As Perfect As You Are. It is from the stamp set Vintage Verses, which is a celebration stamp set. That means that you can only get it for free with your $50 purchase until March 22nd. I'm going to ink this up using my Versamark ink pad, like that, and we will stamp that straight down in the center, and I know you can't see it, but it's there, and I'm going to bring in, now I like to put a coffee filter underneath when I'm working with my embossing powder, very low tech, but you know, it works. We'll sprinkle the embossing powder on there, and shake it off, this is just the white embossing powder. All right, move my mess out of the way. Now it's very important that you get rid of any extra little stray bits of powder that might be on your cardstock because when you hit that with your embossing gun, it's going to show. And I'm sure you don't want that. So you can even use a little paintbrush and, and brush those away, kind of like that. Now I have one I actually have already embossed ahead of time, so we will swap that right out. And so here it is, all finished and embossed. Now the next step is to add your illusion of chalk dust. And to do that, we're going to use our Whisper White ink pad. This is a pigment ink, and I'm going to use a sponge dauber. And I'll pick up some ink with my sponge dauber, and I'm just going to burnish that right into the cardstock, like so. Kind of wherever you want it. And it looks like this chalkboard has been written on and then cleaned off. You know, it's really sad. It just occurred to me. I don't think my kids even know what chalk dust is because I don't think they even use a chalkboard anymore in schools now, do they? All right, so we've got that now. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white crayon, and yes, mine is broken, but it still works, and I'm just going to freehand draw a little bit of doodling around the sides. Reminds me of a menu sign or something at a fancy restaurant, doesn't it? All right, so there we go. We have our piece now. Let's go ahead and finish the rest of our card. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, I have a little strip here of crumb cake cardstock. I have cut this to one and a quarter by four inches and I'm going to punch it with the scallop trim border punch. I find that the best way to use this punch is to slide your cardstock and center it and punch. And then we're gonna slide it over to the one side. You can use the guides that are printed on the punch to line it up perfectly. And then we'll punch the other side. Like that. All right, let's brush my scraps out of the way. I have actually gone ahead and I have attached that piece to a square of Whisper White cardstock. I've cut that four inches by four inches, um, and I've attached it fairly low to the bottom of the square, maybe to the bottom quarter of an inch or so. And then I've just tied a piece of basic black eighth inch taffeta ribbon to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and layer that right onto my card because I added my adhesive already. So this is a Sahara sand piece of cardstock. That's the base of my card. So that's cut at eight and a half by five and a half. And now we can go ahead and add our blackboard piece. A little bit of adhesive here. And then the very last step felt like it kind of needed a little something. So I punched a small heart using the small heart punch out of primrose petals. And I'm just got a little glue dot in here, and we'll add that to the bottom of our chalkboard. 
And there you have it, a card using the chalkboard technique. You can purchase any of these products by going to my blog at www.michellebrutton.com and you can click on the link for the shop now up in the upper right hand side of my blog. Thanks a lot and happy stamping!